Okay, good day, uh, BSTM 4th year. So, discussion natin today is about Carabao Care and Management. So, yung previous discussions natin about sa Carabao uh, Production and Management is about the general information about Carabao. So, after the birth, uh, ng Caracas, o ng anak na uh, Carabao, the fetal membrane should be removed. Some fluid may have, may have to be drained from the respiratory tract and then kailangan niyo tanggalin yung navel cord and lalagyan niyo siya ng uh, identification like ear notching so yung ginugupit yung tenga or uh, yung merong ano doon may uh, corresponding na code and then yung tattooing yung minamarkahan siya ear tagging yung parang uh, plastic na hikaw and, and then uh, lalagyan mo siya ng neck chain para ma- masanay siya na itatali Caracop should receive colostrum as soon as possible, preferably one hour after birth. So yung colostrum is yun yung first milk na ilalabas ng inahin uh, after niya mga anak. So back hair operation, yung, uh, yung mga uh, bagong anak na, na caracops ay mga caracops ay pinapasama daw within uh, uh, kahit one year up to one year kasama niya yung nanay niya para um makainom pa na makainom ng gatas so yon uh, commercial dairy operation with the herd of mura or mura carabao great scalps are usually weaned or winawala 3 3 to 5 days after birth and are fed and trained to drink uh, mixed milk the cubs may be put in the pens individually or in group so yung uh, difference between backyard operation and uh, commercial uh, operation particularly dairy operation is uh, yung backyard is sa mga kapitbahay natin or may nakikita kayo may mga mayari ng kalabo diba? halos malaki na magkasama pa sa nanay um, difference na isa commercial kasi as much or as soon as possible na maiwalay na yung mga kalabaw is uh, much preferred nila kasi mapapractice na nilang painumin ng iba't ibang feeds and uh, in yun, yung mixed milk na tinatawag, yun yung pinapainom sa kanya. Para yung nanay niya is ma-maximize yung gatas or pwede pang makuha na ng gatas. At the same time, yung anak matrain na uh, earlier. Okay. So, economics and practicability are the two important factors to consider in selecting the feeding methods to use. Okay? So, economics and yung kakayanan siyempre ng farmer and gano'n baka practical kung paano nyo siya papakainin. So, feeding of high-protein diet to win caracabs 8 to 12 months old is advisable if it desire to accelerate growth rate. So, yung ma, um, mga pagkain na matataas ang protein na para daw mapabilis yung paglaki nila is advisable kung yun ang inyong target. This practice would reduce the usual delayed uh, breeding of the cara hyper Kara for of the for the first time and consequently dries its uh, first calf earlier. So, kara cup should be fed with kara cup starter at uh, two weeks of age. A good kara cup starter should contain at least eighteen to twelve or to twenty percent CP or crude protein and seventy five percent yung digestible nutrient. So, yung mga to naman is a uh, sorry medyo pang ansay na siya but uh, sinama ko na lang siya. And yung mga computation later doon sa uh, feeds nila is dadaanan natin para mabigay ko lang din sa inyo. So, but yung uh, importance lang man sa inyo is uh, how to uh, take care and manage you know, yung inyong mga kalabaw in case na magka meron kayo, di ba? So, starting at 2 weeks of age, the caracab should be fed with some forage like freshly cut grass. So, uh, forage is yung mga... Uh, pwede nyo siyang paramihin or sa, sa uh, mamundok yung, or sa atin yung tinatawag na pagkukumpay. Ayun, after 2 weeks or starting 2 weeks, pwede nyo na silang pag-practice na kumain yan. Uh, forage na yan. Pwedeng legumes like uh, um, uh, ipil-ipil, yung mga kakawate na yan, and then yung grasses na eh, common naman sa atin. Diba? So fresh and clean water should be provided at all times. So lahat naman ng hayop ganyan. Uh, importante sa kanila yung tubig eh, um, it should be available all the time so other ma- management process essential to success two successful caracop management operations are branding so yun yung uh, ang tawag doon yung tinatatakan yung merong di ba yung sinusunog sa bakal yata yun or, yun so yung para malaman nyo na sa inyo yun and then castration 
kinakapon, deworming o yung uh, sabulate. Okay? Uh, ano nga sa Tagalog? Pupurga. Ayan, vaccination. Okay. So, then all at the same time when the caracabs are about 5 months old or immediately after weaning, this operation should be done during good weather conditions. Especially the months of January to June when it's relatively dry. So, kung gagawin nyo itong mga activities na to, so make sure na maganda yung panahon, less stress sa kanila, and uh, uh, masakat kasi sa kanila to. Uh, kaya, as much as possible, malessen yung uh, stress nila. So, growing and fattening naman, yung mga pagpapataba, kung yun yung inyong, or, uh, yun yung inyong target na gawin doon sa mga karaba, winling, car cubs, or yung mga nawalay, which is uh, 8 to 12 months old, may either be sold as feeder caracabs or they may be fed with economical growing rations. So, yan yung sinasabi ko kanina na uh, feeding uh, practices. So, 0.50 to 0.75 kilograms per day for per day for per sale as yearling pattern or patterns after 3 months. They may be fed too with high energy ration and finished uh, as soon as possible for slaughters, especially if they are not suited for breeding for possession is for the uh, yung kumbaga pataba in kalabaw. So, hindi parang hindi naman yan masyadong applicable diba sa atin. So, ito yung ratio. And uh, dadaanan ko na lang din siya. So, tips for kara hyper uh, management or kara hyper. I forgot the pronunciation na kasi uh, more on centrip na. Kasi. But uh, replacement kara hypers should be uh, separated from the bull until they are ready for breeding. So, the occurrence of heat should be carefully observed to facilitate breeding and recording. Animals that do not come to heat on their scheduled time should be carefully examined. So, pag ihiwalay nyo na siya, uh, uh, make sure na meron kayong proper recording and uh, yung, yung before na na-discuss ko, diba, yung time na pag siya ay naglalande. So, yun. Hindi naman na siya masyado sa inyo. So, yan, dinaanan ko na lang siya. So, karabul and karakaw ratio. So, gano'n ba kadami yung pwede nyo isama or yung uh, uh, advisable na ipabreed sa isang bull or toro. A muro bull can be or can be assigned to 15 to 20 females during the breeding season. So, 1 is to 15 to 20. So, gitna. Siguro it's around 18, di ba? Yun yung uh, pwede nyo isama. So, kung kayo ay nasa ranching yung inyong kulungan. So, 20 kara hypers a year should be sired by a young bull of about 1.5 to 3.5 years old. So, 30 kara hypers naman, or kara hypers, or kara hypers, when the bull is from 3 to 1.5. So, dadaan ako na lang din siya. So, upgrading practice naman. So, when we say upg upgrading naman, ito yung ating mga uh, native na uh, kalabaw sa Pilipinas and then hahaluan niyo siya ng breed uh, or breeds na ori na nag-originate sa ibang bansa. So yun yung tinatawag na upgrading. Halimbawa, yung pure na yung ating kalabaw na native sa Pilipinas, papalahian niyo siya halimbawa ng Miura or ng Nilirabay. So yun, yun yung tinatawag na uh, upgrading. Mating the karabaw with a breed such as the Miura or Nili Rabai is highly recommended. Upgrading can be done either by natural mating. So when we say natural mating, ito yung pagpapakasta talaga. Yung pupuntahan ng uh, barako or magdadalhin yung barako doon sa inahin and uh, physically magmimate sila. Or yung tinatawag AI. Ito yung kumukolekta sila ng semen doon sa barako and then i-inject uh, siya doon sa, uh, sa, sa uh, female. Artificial insemination ang tawag doon. If natural breeding is practiced, the carabao and the mura must be raised together to avoid uh, mating problems. So, dapat daw, uh, kung i-breed nyo siya through natural breeding, magkasama na siya uh, kahit nung ano pa sila. Uh, since siguro mag, uh, maliit pa sila, okay? So, para hindi sila magka-problema in terms of mating problems. Like, medyo aggressive in nature sila. So, kung first time nila magkikita, mayroong tendency na... Uh, Mag, uh, maging aggressive sila or mag-away sila, di ba? Okay, so when we say AI naman or artificial insemination, the use of AI has good uh, has a good potential for improving na karawa. However, there are still technical problems that are to be solved in this issue. So, may mga uh, technical problems like yung handling ng semen, di ba? Like for example, kung 
malayo-layo pa yung pagdadaanan nun. O pagdadaanan rather, yung paggagalingan. So, hindi na siya ganun ka-pure. Kung may mga factors na nakaka-affect dun sa uh, buhay ng mga similya, like kung galing pa ng uh, Occidental halimbawa, yung simen ng barako, so syempre, hindi na siya ganun kaganda. Uh, kung dito, nadadalhin sa Oriental, diba? So, yun ang isang example na. Then, when we come or when it, when it comes to management of pregnant herd naman, should be separated from the rest of the herd, especially in the last two months of their pregnancy. They must receive adequate supply of energy, protein, vitamins, and minerals for their maintenance, growth, and fetal growth requirements. Poor nutrition may result to poor uh, milk production. Hence, it is advisable to stop milking two months before the expected date of calving. So, uh, ito yung mga common na nangyayari dito sa atin, especially sa mga backyard farmers, like yung yan, kalabaw, baka, kambing. So, nagkakaroon sila ng uh, mismanagement. Like, uh, limbawa, hindi na yung tuma, ma, malapit na palang mga anak yung baka nila or kalabaw nila. Um, hindi pa nila winawalay. Uh, kasama, kasama pa rin dun sa grupo or sa herd na tinatawag. Ngayon, uh, magtataka sila kung bakit pag nanganak, laging hindi maganda yung... Uh, composition ng katawan, meron may diferensya, may defect, or minsan mataas yung mortality rate or yung namamatay. Uh, that is uh, because of uh, mismanagement. So, if you are uh, already or you have an idea of uh, breeding or uh, kahit uh, simple management lang, so iwawala nyo na siya dapat and uh, at least magkaroon sila ng extra care kasi di ba meron silang ano eh, may baby sila, may anak sila doon na Uh, na palabas na. So, iba yung alaga doon. Iba din yung sa mga nakaalpas lang. Diba? So, yun. Yun yung common na problema sa atin, sa mga farm or sa mga backyard uh, racers especially. Okay? So, uh, management of milking herd. Milking sh uh, shed uh, should be built in well-drained grounds which is a common factor for diseases and parasites. The shed may be built on native materials like bamboo, nipa, and pogon. Backyard sheds are 2.5 to 3 meters high for semi-permanent shed. With GI roofing, the height may be 3 to 3.7 meters. So, kung ito naman ay uh, for uh, farm or for commercial uh, scale, so ito sinusunod. But yung sa atin naman, since backyard is uh, yun yung common, so kalimitan, di ba, nasa may maliit lang sila na uh, masisilungan, sabi nga, tawag na doon ay masisilungan. But, if you are into uh, um, tawag nito, uh, commercial uh, scale, and uh, mas maganda naman kasi talaga yung ganun. So, ito yung mga requirements. So, at least ito yung mga uh, suggested na taas ng magiging kulungan nila. Okay. So, management. Uh, milking carabas are fed based on their body weight. So, depends sa timbang nun, yun din nakabase yung inyong ipapakain. The milking carabas may, may be fed with roughage ad libitum. So, when we say ad libitum, unlimited to. Pwede nyo siyang pakainin ng pakainin. But, uh, meron ding ibang uh, mixture. Ito, so ito yung mga different na uh, mixture ng pagpapakain sa kanila. And, uh, Ayan, medyo technical na again, pang unsign na kasi to And yan, dinaanan ko lang siya. That uh, maybe one day you will uh, also need this for uh, reference. Water should be or should always be provided at all times. So make sure yun lagi hindi mawawala. So yung tubig dito. So apart from the fresh porridge, ito yung mga ginapas. Ang tawag dito. Crop residue to be given supplemental concentrates at a rate of 1% of to 2% of the body weight should be given. So, uh, ito yung mga crop residue like yung uh, pwede nyo siyang pakainin ng uh, limbawa uh, ano bang crop residue rice hindi pa ako masyadong nakakita ng pinapakain nila ng ano eh, ng ipa so yun, pwede nyo siyang pakainin ng crop residue like kalimbawa uh, pinag pinagbalata ng mangga or yung hindi na mag yung may damage na mangga kung ibebend niya sa palengke so yun mga ganung uh, 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 residue or pwede rin na yung sa asukal yun yung uh, kalimutan ko na yung tawag doon yung parang kulay ano siya brown red yeah. so yun binibigay din yun 
Okay, mineral mixture, pwede rin pakain. Ano ba yung mga mineral? So, meron ka yung salt. So, yung, uh, yan, yung mga ganang. So, use, use castrated male carabaos as draft animals for easy handling and docility. So, pag kayo ay uh, gagamit ng uh, kalabaw na pang-araro, so yung uh, pang-draft or yung taga-hila ng kartela nyo, make sure na yung castrated daw. Kasi uh, less uh, aggressive sila like pag ginamit nyo yung barako and then intact pa yung kanyang uh, hindi sila naka-straight. So may times na like kung sila ay yung time ng pag may mate nila medyo may hirapin yung ulo nila. So hindi maganda siya for handling yung uh, ng mga araro. Okay? So females utilized for work are believed to be naturally inferior in performance. So when we say inferior, uh, hindi magandang pang trabaho yung mga inahin na kalabaw. So yun. Okay, so management for draft animals, hindi uh, na natin to discuss But uh, kung kailangan nyo lang naman siya, ayan, sige nyo siya. So carabao fattening, the following are the classes of carabaos fattened or yung pinapataba for the market. Retired work animals are on account of old age and viciousness so kung masama daw yung ugali or medyo may edad na hindi na siya pwedeng pangtrabaho sa farm and hindi na siya ganun ka productive ayan uh, kina uh, kina pwedeng na siyang i ano daw i uh, katayin so feeder stock about 2 and a half to 3 years of age homegrown or purchased in the market carabos below 3 years old but not suited for breeding or work for possesso yun yung mga pwedeng uh, pang uh, tinda nyo so, advantages of feedlot fattening. So, when we say feedlot fattening, ito yung nandun lang sila sa uh, nakapulong lang. And uh, yun lang yung gagawin nila. Uh, para silang pataba yung baboy. Fast turnover of capital, the animals are less prone to disease because of limited time spent on the farm. Profitable utilization of farm by products generally going to waste. Like yung uh, farm by products, yun nga, yun ba, yung mais, kinuha nyo na yung kanyang kernel, pwede nyo itry na ipakain yan doon sa kalabaw, kakainin nila yan. And then, uh, hindi raw sila magiging sakitin kasi nandun lang sila sa kulungan nila and ma mas mabilis daw uh, makita yung uh, or mabawi yung kapital. So housing of feeder stocks does not need a big area. So yun nga, Compared doon sa mga naka, ano, diba, yung naka-alpas. So, pagka naka, may kulungan ka lang, nandun lang sila, tataba lang sila ng tataba. And hindi mo na kailangan i-forage or yung itali sa damuhan para kumain. So, mas maliit lang yung area na kailangan nila. And management is relatively simple. Siyempre, siyempre uh, ang term nyo nga dito is nag-aalam, diba? So, kung yung inyong mga kalabaw is uh, nasa labas, ano ba, wa, ginagamit nyo siyang pang-araro. So, sila yung mga kalimitan na pagkatapos ng trabaho nila, itatali nyo and then uh, uh, lapasan nyo dun sa lugar na may tubig and then mahalawak yung damuhan, ba So, mas simple ito yung uh, pag-aalaga sa feedlot kasi nakakulong na siya sa isang maliit na area, diba? Yung, yung same principle as pag-aalaga ng patabaing baboy. So, ayun, ganun na sila. Ranch management, ito yon yung uh, ranch management, ito yung may malaki kayong area, halimbawa 1 hectare, yun strictly para lang doon lang sila. Okay, so ano ba yung mga requirements or requisites of a good ranch site? So location, extensive space and with more area for expansion must be easily reached by transportation and near marketing outlet. So yun, malawak yung lugar, pwede nyo expand anytime na gusto nyo expand or pag dumami na yung kalabaw, madaling putahan ng sasakyan. And yung pagbebentahan nyo hindi masyadong malayo. So topography naman, when we say topography, ito yung uh, itsura ng land. Okay? Kung ano ba yung kanyang, uh, uh, anong tawag nito sa Tagalog? Yung, uh, sa yung kanyang itsura, like kung siya ba ay uh, patag, slight, uh, tag medyo paslant. So, yun. Uh, hindi ko alam yung exact nga um, sa so Tagalog eh. So, topography, gently rolling, ibig sabihin, hindi siya yung patag na patag. And then, elevated land, dapat nasa hilly lands of not more than 30 degrees. So, gently rolling, meaning pag ganun siya kasi um, yung tubig nun, dapat huwag may stock dun sa lupa na pag alpasan nyo ng inyong kabayo or pag gagawa nyo ng ranch. Kasi, Pag na-stack yung uh, tubig doon sa gitna ng inyong ranch and uh, uminit na halimbawa, nandun pa rin yung tubig. So doon nagsisimula yung mga iba't ibang sakit na pwedeng uh, dumapo doon sa inyong mga kalabaw. 
So availability of water, safe rivers, springs, and creek are highly desirable for drinking and cooling. Preference of trees in the uh, immediate vicinity for shade is important. So mas uh, preferred na merong mga ilog or spring malapit doon mismo sa inyong rancho na malinis para sa ka, uh, para maka-access yung mga kalabaw. Diba? And then yung mga puno para makasilong sila. Soil and vegetation must be capable of growing improved grasses and legumes all year round. Must be free from toxic substances, drought resistant and capable with standing trampling. So yung inyong uh, lupa na yung sinasuggest ng pagrarancho is dapat daw pwede kayo magtanim ng mga improved grasses like uh, marami ng mga iba't ibang variety na ng grasses ngayon na ginagamit sa pag-aalaga ng uh, mga hayop uh, kahit, uh, sa, which is uh, karabaw sa ating subject so yun, dapat pwede yung tamunan and uh, wala doon mga toxic na substance na meron doon sa inyong lupang yan okay. management operations karabaws uh, raised in the ranch should be grouped into herds such as the paracabs, pregnant herd. So you should uh, separate the the different uh, classification depending dun sa kanilang uh, status. Halimbawa sila ay bagong panganak, one month old, two month old, three months old sila yung magkakasama. And then yung mga buntis, tapos yung mga nagpapalahe, and then yung mga fatty nurse. So dapat hiwa-hiwalay sila. This will overcome problem of competitive consumption sa feeds. Okay, kasi uh, pag same lang yung lugar nila, lahat sila halimbawa is naka-ranch, pwede na mas napatay-pantay lang yung kakainin nila or uh, na hindi na nasusunod yung requirement like halimbawa yung mga mas batang kalabaw, diba? mas uh, mataas yung requirement nila kasi kailangan nila lumaki. And then yung mga buntis, iba rin. So magkakaroon ngayon ng uh, pagtata or ng uh, competi- competition between sa kanila. Unlike pag hiniwalay nyo sila, mas maganda yon kasi per status nila kung ano man sila, kung buntis man sila, kung patabain sila, may bibigay nyo, di ba? So, it also minimizes early calf mortality and facilitate the recording and identification of animals. So, madali nyo siyang i-record, mas madali nyo siyang identify kasi nakahiwa-hiwalay uh, na sila. Okay, production facilities, cooling facilities uh, may be provided by means of safe mud hole or stream. Working corals, uh, corals, squeeze, shoot, and scales used for closer examination of the animal, especially during grafting, weighing, the horning, castration. So, different activity or different uh, task na gagawin nyo sa, may, sa mga alaga nyo um, should have proper um, facilities. The use of weighing scale is very essential for treatment or for determining the animal's performance. The platform cage the platform cage and closing gate should be on the scale. Uh, the squeeze shoot is ne- is very necessary to restrain animals properly handling in properly handling. Preferably a space of two meters, just two square meter is necessary to accommodate single animal. So uh, production facilities shed must provide comfort and protection for the animals. Shed building should have a north south orientation para hindi sila nakatutok sa init yung north south na tinatawag. Allows only enough sunshine and shade to keep it dry and, and sanitary. A feeding throw or a feeding throw or mineral box built within the shed should be protected from the rain and other elements. Okay, so yung inyong mga pakainan. Ayan. <clears throat> the roofing uh, may be made out of hay or nipa to give cooling effect. Hay roofing is made of 15 cm layer of coarse hay. So at Pilipinas, hindi ko alam kung may hay parang wala ata sa atin. So, yung atin ay hipa. Between two layers of, of buben wire fencing. So, yung ating fencing naman, ang requirements niya are uh, it's either treated or live post. So, post should be buried 60 to 70 meters below and 1.22 meters above ground. So, distance of 4 to 5 between posts is recommended. The wire to be used in fencing should have the necessary strength to withstand trampling. So, dapat uh, pag uh, binabangga, syempre, or nasasagi ng animals, ng kalabaw lalo, na dapat hindi siya masisira. Okay. Okay, so pasture establishment and grazing management. Consider the choice of the land and the species of crops to be pro- uh, propagated. So, dapat 
pag-aralan niyo yung mga itatanim niyo doon na uh, na mga uh, pananim na paparamihin depende yun kung ano yung baka hindi siya maganda for uh, carabo production so pag-aralan niyo rin dapat yun our pastures can be classified in four types so meron tayong native native pasture native pasture over seeded with legumes so yung legumes yun yung inyong mga ipil-ipil ayan improve pure grass pasture and then improve grass legume mixture so halong uh, grass ta kayo mga legumes okay So, the procedures for introducing legumes into the native pasture are as follows. Burning or overgrazing the area at the end of the dry season. Disturbing the pasture <coughs> for, by cultivation or light disking. This will allow contact between the seed. Uh, ito na yung pagpaparami na pala ito ng um, legumes. Okay? Introduce nyo sa kanila kasi most uh, of the karam or... Most carabao producers ay grasses lang. So, so yung topic nito is about uh, i-introduce sa kanya yung mga legumes. So, mag-apply kayo ng phosphorus fertilizer daw. But, uh, ito hindi na masyadong um, preferred. Kasi, anyways, mas mabilis naman siya tutubo. Kasi, ang different topic naman actually yun yung mga legumes. Kasi, mas mabilis siyang tumubo. So, kung lalagyan nyo pa siya ng fertilizer, siguro hindi na siya applicable masyado. But, uh, yeah. so yung legumes kasi, pwede siyang gawing tawagin na merienda para hindi masa or at least maka ma-introduce sa inyong kalabaw yung uh, different types of forage. Yeah. So, yun, ito yun, yung about pag introduce ng uh, legumes. So, pwede niya siya bigyan ng grasses, pwede rin ng legumes. Okay? So, yung last topic natin is uh, about diseases. And after nun is yung ating uh, final exam na. So, thank you for listening. Uh, stay safe and God bless.